Welcome back, fellow gamers, to Dive, the Metis Island Secret. Now in this video, it's time to take on the second area, the Desert Islands. Now, the first time I tried recording this, I actually had a uh, couple of audio glitches. Probably more on my uh, TV and sound system setup than anything in the game, so... We shouldn't run into any problems this time. not really anything else new in the uh, menu here. So, let's just dive right on in, shall we? Now here we're looking for a golden chest filled with 17,000 gold coins. I can really do a lot with 17,000 gold coins. I mean, I gotta find out what the uh, exchange rate is, but I'm sure you could do some with it. Okay, looks like we've got a lot of jellyfish here. And a shark. Please don't eat me, Mr. Shark. I certainly wouldn't want to return the favor. I've had shark fin soup. It's overrated. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, right off the bat, we're off to kind of a, a bad start here. Yeah. Um, okay. Let let's um note to self don't don't go let's stop go down there, shall we? Yeah. Okay, we need to be a little bit more careful here. In fact, since we're right here, I'm gonna return to the boat, refill my oxygen, and Let's try this again with a uh, little bit less running into sharks, hmm? So let's see here, does it uh, save my map completion at all? Yes, oh good. I know I've said it before, but I really do like the graphics here. Yeah, I'll let most of the jellyfish escape, but you, you giant ones, you must die. You're in my way. Okay, um, out of my way please, so I can get the shiny. Whoa, uh, I, I forgot about you. Yeah, I got a hundred dollars, but all in all, that's not exactly why we've called a fair trade. Oh, an air tank. I am oh so happy to see you. Apparently this game pulls no punches. Not even in just a second level. Um, excuse me. May I get through here, please? Thank you. Check the map. Okay, so we're gonna have to go down. I'm definitely glad that I invested in that new suit. I have a feeling we're going to need the uh, extra depth ability here. Excuse me guys, you um... You just let me through and I won't say anything. Now, I've actually had jellyfish, believe it or not, and it was actually quite tasty. Much better than the shark fin soup. Okay. 
Yes, please go belly up. Belly up to the bar. Uh, Spikes and eels. That, that's a that's a very bad combo there. Ah. And you you um. So does this just take me back to where I was? Okay, I've just gone in kind of a loop there. Good good to know. This level's big thing is eels. Okay, uh... My air meter's looking grim. Okay, first death of the run. Good to know. Alright, yeah, sure. And I didn't even see a checkpoint anywhere in there. Watch with my luck, there will be one right past there. So let me check the map and just do a whole other loop like I did before. When the eel eats your face and this dive becomes a race, that's a more. Fish don't bother me, shoe fish don't bother me. <laughs> so Okay. Don't just run into the anemones, good to know. Is a big jellyfish. It looks like there's something over this way. I want to see what it is. Treasure and some harpoons. I certainly won't complain. One thing I would have kind of liked to have seen is maybe um, something kind of like Echo the Dolphin, where once you uh, surface, it would restore your oxygen. And, yep, I was right. There's a checkpoint right there. So, since we already have our checkpoint, I'd kind of like to go down and see what's over this way again. What's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that. Really, do not answer that. You, I don't like. Get out of my way. Yep, 
Ape? Okay, I, I don't like you even more, surprise eel. Oh, now that is so not fair. Not really... Uh, um, I... Do I want to treasure that bad? Oh, why not? Oh, come on. Ugh. 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 Oh, really? Not you. Looks like there's a checkpoint up. Can I get to it? Please, can I get to it? Please let that be a checkpoint. Yes. Oh, yes. Sweet checkpoint. I am so happy to see you. If you can survive all these guys, then you get some harpoon ammo. Dodge three eels and win a free iPod. I've got a feeling in my gut that this is probably where I'm supposed to be going. Hello! Nice little, uh, ambush spot you got there. these guys. Okay, which way? This looks like up for me. Come on. Oh yes, yes, yes. I, I, I will gladly take that. thing I'm liking with this game is that it definitely seems to be able to give you the right power-ups when you're going to need them. So while this game is tricky, I can at least say it is fair. It's, it will throw you a bone if you need one.
helps to actually grab the treasure. The controls in this game are actually really, really nice, too. They're very responsive, they work exactly as they should. by the sharks. This way. Ugh! Some frantic dodging. Very frantic. Again, difficult, but fair. I can at least res I can respect that in this game. Touchy with the tentacles, please. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about that. According to the map, the treasure is this way, so... Treasure of Sharks. Good Lord. Treasure is yours. You can continue exploring this island or return to it later. Would you prefer to return to the coast of Brava? Yes, please. I was right. I now have the dowry. Everything is going as I had planned. 
One by one, the great treasures will all be mine. I'm headed for the Azores to find out if that sarcophagus really exists. I have found the ship and its load. So let's see here. The Emerald Dolphin from the first stage, and now the Golden Chest. This chest contains the dowry that Catherine of Braganza sent to her fiancé, Philip II. Uh, two down, eight to go. Sarcophagus, Santa Maria Island, the Azores, Portugal. Captain Diogo de Silves was shipwrecked on the Azores together with his hundred men on the 1st of November, 1746, and the sea devoured the entire load. Many believe he was carrying the sarcophagus of Egyptian pharaoh Raneb. But that will be tomorrow's trip. For now, let's talk up on some supplies here. Again, I always like to upgrade the uh, wetsuit whenever possible. 8,000. That one's going to be a bit expensive, but it eliminates depth limits, so it's going to be well worth it. I don't have enough for the uh, air tank yet, so... I've been finding myself wishing I had one more dart, especially that last area with the sharks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Alright. Oh, reset. I hadn't noticed that before. I guess it's if you um, made some bad spending decisions, want to redo them. But for now, I like where we're at. Alright. Ah, oh, this was definitely a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. And I got a feeling tomorrow's dive is gonna be interesting. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, trip down here. And I hope you'll stay tuned for the rest of the game. So for the Mathiasen Project, this is Thor Mathiasen, and I will see you next time.